So what I'm doing is having a go at some microwave seasoning. We wanted to try making some coasters out of that bushes at the front, the potostrum. Because it's been cut green, it's obviously wet. And so, what I did was I weighed them all. Check the weight after putting it through the microwave. Now, the first six lost um, a couple of grams of, of weight just in the heating, so the moisture is leaving the oxide. But I'm not going to try checking them all. Just out of delivery. <laughs> yeah, I'm only doing these in 30 second bursts. I know um, Bruce led better who was my wood turning lecturer. In his book, he talks about microwave seasoning green bowls when you're turning them. And they talk about doing it for minutes at a time. Um, I can't actually recall how long I did my bowl in the microwave for back at uni. It was probably longer than 30 seconds. It was probably more like a couple of minutes at a time. But you then, you, then you have to let it Amazing the amount of moisture you see come out of them when they're heated and they're hot. Now I've got I've got 14. Here so doing it 30 seconds a pop. It's at least seven minutes if I was really quick, but I'm looking at around in between each heat at the moment and what I might do is the fact that the first one lost three grams of water in one heat I might just do another round and the idea is that when you're checking their weight when the the weight stays the same they've basically reached like an equilibrium of moisture content I've actually, yeah. and this is not the microwave from our kitchen. It's an old microwave that I had at school and I bought home to try this out. Because I was going to do it at school, but it is a long process. So I thought I'm just going to bring this home. I chopped these up at school today on the, on the bandsaw and then just bought them home and I thought well, I need to do this before they uh, start to dry on their own. Saturday and we've got a very steady misting rain basically because we're just up in the clouds here. It'll be interesting to see if it's actually raining raining down the hill but I'm heading down. My wife saw some outdoor blinds for our back porch that she wanted to get and uh, they were on special and she rang the store and they had two left in stock because it said limited stock and they only had two left of the one size which was one of the sizes she wanted. So she's had them held and I'm heading down to get them. It's been just rainy all morning, almost two o'clock in the afternoon. And it's meant to be like this for a few days, which quite often happens around Christmas here. <laughs> get this horrible drizzly rain or whatever for the for a few days. So the mask wearing is come, becoming a thing again here. There's been some, a brand new cluster on the northern beaches popping up, which has also got spreads out into Western Sydney and possibly up here into the mountains so there are there were quite a few people in the store wearing masks which was good in a sense one of the negative things about being vegan is trying to find your products that you want and places will some some places will stock it then they won't stock it like we get a a sour cream called Tafudi. The IGA here carries it. And the fruit shop that I'm about to go to carries it. But there's also a vegan mayonnaise called Veganaise, which is really nice. 
and this place used to carry it. I rang them and they said, yes, we've got it. I come down and they don't have it and they don't even have a tag for it. The guy goes, I wonder if it's been deleted. I thought we had it. I'm pretty sure I saw it last week. The fruit house that I'm going to said, they carry it, but they're currently out of stock. But they got stacks and stacks of sour cream. But I've got a few sour creams here. Got some breads that were on special. They've actually got a fairly, a pretty good big new range of um, vegan things and we're noticing that we are noticing that there's more and more vegan products being made so and for a change some of them aren't ridiculously overpriced it's just annoying when um, a product you like and a product you're used to keeps being becoming discontinued which seems to be a habit here in Australia They'll discontinue things uh, that are selling. Okay, my wife just messaged me and said that the blue mounds have been added to the restriction zones. Like this new cluster on the northern beaches. The northern beaches is a very sec secluded area and it's usually like not many people couldn't travel in and out of the place. The cluster just suddenly climbed, they found like I can't remember if they said 38 cases or 38 new cases overnight. One of the areas that I saw on the news was just down at Riverston and the guy's going like his cafe had to be closed and um, deep cleaned and he said like on this tiny little cafe out in northwest Sydney who would have thought somebody from the northern beaches would come out here to have a coffee. But this person who had been tested positive has basically had to say, I went here, I went here, I went here, I went here. And there's some areas in Penrith that have been popping up. And now they've just said the Blue Mountains. And I'm trying to not go out. But we're just concerned that our latest our latest online shopping was quite often. Quite often you do an online shop and then they when the then when your stuff arrives, it said, oh, you could, we couldn't give you this, we couldn't give you this, we couldn't give you this, because we're out of stock. So my wife just said, like, because I've come out for the sour cream, and she said, if you see stuff that is on the list, grab it, just in case. And it's stupid, people are starting to panic by toilet paper again, especially on the northern beaches, because they've, they've gone into a three-day lockdown where they want people to be tested, and they said, the only reason you should leave They've given four. One is exercise, so there's an excuse to get out of the house. Work, essential shopping, so grocery shopping, compassionate grounds. But they don't want people, they really don't want people going to nursing homes and stuff. They've actually set up a special testing clinic in a nursing home on the northern beaches where a case or two have popped up just in time for Christmas. Queensland borders are closing, Victorian borders are closing, West Australia borders are closing, New Zealand borders could be closing again, Tasmania's borders are closing to New South Wales. And apparently one of the, somebody from the Northern Beaches went up into Queensland and all of a sudden there's little cases popping up all over there. And it's like, stuff is spreading like crazy all of a sudden again. And my wife just said to me on the phone then, once you go out to the fruit shop and get the stuff we need, I don't want you leaving the house. I want to try and get myself at home and basically self-quarantined to get myself away from the whole of being out and about and at work and all that sort of thing. So I just did my quick run over to the shopping centre Wimmerley. Quite busy. A good percentage of people wearing masks. I've got a few few things that I wanted to get and go back and try and stay in the house. Not like I don't have things to do around there, so I should be able to keep busy. And it's not like I need to go to work now, even though there were some things that I wouldn't have minded going over there to do, so, but I need to stuff it around the house.